Greetings enthusiasts, this is Oceanics42 once again. We're here in Midlothian, Virginia, a few miles south of Richmond at the Market Bazaar. It's an indoor antique mall. Let's go on inside and see what deals we can find. This place was pretty big. There were three narrow rows and they went all the way back to the building. It must have been an old grocery store or uh, something like that, but pretty large. Lots of interesting things in the rows. A lot of antiques. Key Man looks like it's Japanese versions, which I think is fantastic. And that looks like newer Thundercat stuff. One thing that they had for retro gaming was this case that had Nintendo sticker on the one side, but no real games in the case, and Sega on the other side. See, Nintendo and Sega battling out in the same display case, but sadly, no games to be found. This was an interesting find. Had some VHS tapes and an old Polaroid, which was great. Don't know why I didn't get this. I should have bought it. I really should have bought it. Here we go. Old cameras. Stereo equipment. Three hundred and dollars for that. That was a pretty cool find, but it wasn't for sale. Cool cameras. Lunch boxes. There were a lot of lunch boxes in there. Well, that was the bazaar. But the best find was actually something I went there originally to pick up from somebody else. Yes, these three Atari 400 800 carts. Centipede, Pac-Man, and Donkey Kong. Pretty good graphics. 8-bit Atari 800XL in 1983. This was the best and closest to the arcades as you could get. The 7800 was the same machine but packaged as a video game console only and it was it for 83-84 until Nintendo came out and saved the market in 85. Now, what's interesting here is that the 2600, long anticipated, yeah, I'm going to try to play with one hand, <laughs> anticipated the release of Pac-Man. Pac-Man was in a crazy, crazy hit in the arcades. 2600 came out with Pac-Man and it was a notorious failure because of uh, practices at the time in Atari. Um, they did it really cheap. They did a really quick five-week turnaround on the game, and it was junk. The game was just atrocious, even for the 2600. It caused a lot of controversy at the time, a lot of returns, and helped fuel the, the video game crash at the time. And so this port is actually the closest to the arcade, again, on an 8-bit 
uh, machine in 82 and 1983. And, uh, uh, there just wasn't enough focus in the stores in regards to video games on the computers because Atari was trying to kind of get into the computer market. And they did it. They did it very well. I mean, these 8-bit machines, uh, only major competitor was a 16-bit TI-99, uh, but did not focus on gaming. So uh, these Atari 8-bits in the early 80s were the best things around. Uh, they even beat out the apples. So great stuff. Pac-Man. His last cart picked up, Centipede. This is a absolute classic. And the camera's not doing the colors justice, just the way the lighting is in the room uh, with all these carts. But here we go, Centipede. And I can't play with one hand. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. All right, thanks everyone.